Hey there, so it's like 3.30 in the morning and I just finished a presentation. Well, I never did a presentation, but well, I made a presentation. I'm going to a class tomorrow on this 100 slide presentation. Prezi. Joyous. Anyway, I thought I'd make a quick video because, well, I'm pretty wired after all that. I find that after I do something like that, instead of getting exhausted like the normal person would, I uh, get very hyper. So I thought I wanted to make a video and I wasn't quite sure what to make that. Then I remember, uh, on the 18th of February, uh, Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours, uh, the killer double feature, is uh, that was put up by Shout Factory a few years back, and is a favorite of mine, is coming out on Blu-ray. Now, uh, aside from a snazzy Blu-ray transfer, do I really have to get this one again? Well, yes, I do, actually. There's uh, features on it from Visiting Hours. And uh, for Visiting Hours, if you look at the back, you notice that all the features are here on this one, Bad Dreams, which is a cool Jennifer Rubin's Richard Lynch film. But there's absolutely zero features on Visiting Hours, except for, like, a trailer. I, mean, I like Visiting Hours. I really do. Do I really need the new edition? Uh, maybe not. But I want the new edition. And that got me to thinking about other movies that I uh, double dip with. Things that I like. And uh, first up was uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And since, you know, I only had the, uh, well, this edition here. And it was just a, just a normal, regular one disc edition of the film. I thought it was, it was easy for me to uh, double dip and get the uh, new snazzy Digibook Blu-ray. Which uh, I really love, actually. Great stuff. Uh, I think uh, actually Dave Mendes in this one in a small role, I think. Next up is one where you. Okay, I actually have the VHS of these. And this is the. Uh, I better have some VHS, well, DVD box set, well, our box set, because we. Some people, couples, designate this is my movies, and this is your movies, and these are my video, game, my video games, these are your video games. We don't do that here. We we kind of like, we ex like to get stuff together, so it's kind of more exciting that way. And uh, we share stuff. And she meant I like everything that uh, <laughs> comes in the house, but my gore-fest horror movie she wants to watch is just as much hers as is mine, and vice versa. But anyway, Indiana Jones, The Adventures of Indiana Jones, we uh, of course... Got the original uh, snazzy box set. I really think it's still very cool. It's got the first three films anyway. And of course the uh, bonus materials disc. And uh, the new ultra shiny, really cool Blu-ray edition of uh, the uh, Complete Adventures. Of course we also have the, the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles because, well, we really like Indiana Jones a lot in this house. It's a, it's a big thing. It's almost religion. And, uh, so we had to have that one. Next up is, I'm not going to take down the DVD copies of it, because, uh, they're up top, and it's a pain in the butt. And we have the extended book editions of, uh, Lord of the Rings on DVD. The, you know, the big ones with the, you know what I'm talking about. If you're Lord of the Rings fan, you know. But, even so, we also have the Lord of the Rings Blu-ray extended edition. Now, as I'm saying this, another thing she knows, whereas I could, down the road, maybe get rid of this copy of a Rocky Horror Picture Show and still keep this one, even though I have the Blu-ray edition, I'm still not going to get rid of uh, this edition because uh, there's certain things that we collect and we want in, uh, in all its formats. Indiana Jones was one of them. Uh, Lord of the Rings was another, and uh, Batman Anthology, uh, which we don't have the Blu-ray up yet, but we're, we're working on it, and uh, Superman uh, Anthology, series, saga, whatever. Uh, we want to get the Blu-ray of that one as well, but that being said, we have the tin edition, which is really sweet, so we won't get rid of the tin either, so we'll just have a Blu-ray and a DVD copy. Whereas some people get rid of some of their stuff, 
we double over on some stuff. Like some other things, you know, this will probably go to my son or I'll trade him with one of my friends that uh, around here that doesn't have it, but uh, this is awesome. You gotta look. This is such a well put together set that uh, amazing. You can even like, it's even got a place to join the Rock Shore fan club. And uh, as far as like my digi books go, this is probably one of my favorite. And I didn't think it was going to be because it was one of those thin digi books. But uh, so well put together. Spine is good. Uh, so, what do you collect? <laughs> that you don't mind doubling over on. I, uh, for us, it's the big stuff. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, uh, Lord of the Rings, all that stuff we uh, don't mind doubling over on. Friday 13th, which I've had in uh, single edition DVDs, VHS at one point, the, uh, from, Crystal, from Crystal Lake to Manhattan box set, which got stolen on me. And then I went out and I found the disc, the disc with seven and eight on it, because it had a different commentary than the other one. And then I bought the new one with the hockey mask in it, but I haven't bought the Blu-ray edition yet because I wasn't wild. But I am gonna buy it down the road because I'm a huge fan. I've got the original Nightmare on Elm Street box set, the big one with Freddy on it, and I am again gonna buy the. Uh, yeah, right now street Blu-ray box it down the road because I just want to upgrade certain things to Blu-ray that I uh, that I really really enjoy. There's extra features there too, like the other Freddy one has a couple episodes of a series called Freddy's Nightmares, which I really enjoyed within the '80s when I was younger. But uh, that's my video for right now. Tell me what you what you like, what you collect, what you double over on. Uh, do you double dip on anything? Would you double dip on anything? And uh, if you did, would you? Uh, get rid of the uh, of the DVD or uh, would you have to keep it if it looked like this because uh, this looks cool really cool and uh, awesome stuff thanks for watching my rambling incoherent late night video and uh, for me right now before I go to sleep it's time for tea